Hello, this is Anton. We're at uh, HyperAdvisor.com. Uh, I'm just going to run through uh, Citrix Zen Server. Uh, this is a product that competes with VMware, uh, vSphere, and I will have to come out the gate here and say I am a VMware guy. You know, it's typically what I work with um, and recommend, but um you know with choice you know your your recommendations should um fit the uh the requirements and the needs of wh whoever it is you're you're actually recommending a product to so i i, I do tend to recommend zen server or citrix uh for certain scenarios um just taking a run through of the product here uh it has a pretty easy to use management interface um, in this setup here, um, I have a a pool uh, which is configured with two uh, Zen servers, and and these are bare metal hypervisors that are uh, sitting on physical hardware and hosting uh, VM guests that are running on it. Um, currently, I have some off, as you can see here, but um, they can typically handle certain amounts of load depending on how you configure the Zen server. Uh, in this setup I have uh, OpenFiler, Present Storage, NFS, and iSCSI to the Zen servers so you can do that type of configuration and um, you also get the right out of the box the capability to do uh, live live motion or V motion as you know in VMware in the VMware product and 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 that's for free so this is the free version of the installation which um, I believe is still called the Express and they have other tiers as well um, and advanced and platinum which give you some other capabilities uh, so if you see the the pooled the pool here is similar to a uh, a, a cluster for um, like you would see in VMware where you could set these up and configure uh, HA and, and other redundant uh, capabilities using shared storage. Uh, just to go into the interface, um, I already have a couple VM uh, uh, hypervisors set up but in order to add a server it's pretty easy you just click the add server um, put in the IP address or host name um, and credentials and it just takes you through a wizard of setting that up um, as far as the pool there's also a wizard for this as well uh, pretty simple you know put in a name uh, you have to configure a, a, a master in here, uh, this is a little different from VMware, where the in the vSphere product it actually automatically does this for you. Um, you could go into the advanced settings, of course, in VMware and configure that as well. But here it presents it to you to set up the master right in the wizard, and then you can select other members as well when you're going through this wizard. So pretty simple. Um, once you're in there, you get other options here, where you can configure VMs and storage. Uh, let's take a look at the storage. Pretty simple. Again, you know, it's. I, I guess the one of the the large benefits I see with the Citrix and Server products is that the uh, the simplicity of the uh, the management interface. So on the storage front, you can see we can set up NFS, iSCSI, um, you can set up hard hardware HPAs and some other advanced uh, storage uh, technologies that they have out there. Um, you can also set up libraries, which I think is, is really, really nice, where if you have ISOs, you can just connect to a share or uh, SIS share or NFS, and it will um, allow you to pick from those um, ISO libraries that you have in there um, 
right from this GUI here, which the, you know this makes things a lot easier when you need to connect a um, an ISO tool to an actual VM. You just pr come to the drop down and you pick through the uh, through the um, the library and your options. No need to go in and um, create a data store. You know, uh, make sure that the VM can actually see everything on the, the data store. It's kind of done automatically for you when you create the uh, library. So that's pretty pretty nifty feature, and you get some of the same um, general information that you would uh, in in Virtual Center. Uh, not as much information, uh, like I said, you know, VM, the VMware product um, is a little more complex, and with that, it gives you a lot more information and uh, flexibility of doing things as well. So you can get performance information. Again, I was in here already. You can get the uh, the console view can undock this go full screen if you wanted to um, snapshots you could take snapshots you know, no need to go into detail around this uh, you get log information as well um, some some of the settings in the Express are are actually not available but uh, with the paid versions you get some additional uh, features and functionality so think at a high level that's pretty much it I'm not going to go into much detail on this on the product and the setup right now um, network configurations except your different uh, management interfaces and, and networks for your VM guests similar to what you can do in, in VMware um, you can bind NICs together uh, the console for your 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 actual um, Zen server hypervisor, which is a pretty nice feature. You don't have to actually go down to an, an SSH um, command or do anything extra to get this this window here. It's already built in. The performance graphs are here as well as you expect. And you also have capabilities of um, joining this to a domain, so you can get a uh, user authentication. And uh, this is again, it's in the GUI. It's now in 4.1 of the vSphere product, so you can start. You can see some of the things where um, where you know Citrix is taken from VMware and VMware is taken from from Citrix so you're always going to get that that cross pollination so to say um, but in a nutshell that's the product um, another another good benefit to the the, the Zen server product is um, it's based on you know a, a Linux install and the Linux ha seems to have a, a wider range of hardware, or I should say, this this Zen server product has a a larger range of uh, hardware that you can install it on. So you'll you don't have to do as much uh, pre-configuration of specific hardware because kind of out of the box the um, the installation will install on most most hardware that you have out there, even some of the legacy uh, hardware. Um, so again, not to bash uh, the VMware product; it's a great product. As I said, I I use that product uh, my day-to-day -day, um, job or employment, and I recommend the product. Um, most of the time, but still, um, Zen Server has its advantages and its areas where um, it should be considered. So, give it a look, um, install it, 
play with it and see where it might fit in your environment or in certain scenarios. That's it for me. Bye.